all right this geek tip video I want to show you how to use Windows with only keyboard yes it, it is truly possible um, many years ago when I was uh, first learning computers I was running Windows 3 and I had only a keyboard no mouse and uh, it is possible it was back then and I thought to myself I wonder if it still is possible to use Windows with only a keyboard so I actually have uh, Windows 11 here I'm gonna go ahead and I uh, I re started remembering all those cool little keyboard shortcuts and uh, all, all the uh, uh, different functions that we can get with the keys so let me bring up a little schematic or a little diagram here kind of overlay here kind of shows you where all the keys are on the, the uh, keyboard uh, the control keys you know your control windows alt and you also have an application program key here too so those are considered control keys along with escape and all the the print screen and, and uh, cap or the scroll lock and and pause and yeah those are all control keys you have your function keys which is F1 through F12 uh, navigation keys really your, your arrow keys page up down yeah these are just getting navigated around typing keys and of course numeric keypad that some laptop owners don't have so really uh, that's why I kind of put it off to the side you know we're going to only work with the control navigation uh, and key and some typing keys really uh, and some function keys yes yeah, a mixture of them that that uh, helps you get uh, around in Windows so let's go ahead uh, I do have a, a, a keyboard program program that actually shows and displays what keys are being pressed so if I were to press the Windows logo key you get the Windows logo down here hit escape it shows escape so alright so so let's go ahead and we'll first start with the start menu of course Windows logo key it's fantastic it can pretty much take you anywhere inside of the uh, computer so but if you bring up the Windows logo or hit the Windows logo key and you bring up start menu you can actually use the tab key to actually tab around the different areas of the start menu you can use the arrow keys to move around the sub areas or subcategories you can hit enter to to you know basically get into any folder like this 7 zip here if we hit enter we get into it and we just keep going I'm gonna go back and see so you, you, you can pretty much get around here and and you know, it, if you can find it on the start menu you're you're good to go uh, so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and get out of there now I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a program well, let's open up notepad real simple real quick so I'm going to tab all applications I see it's there let's go ahead and scroll down just to be one of those people in notepad hit enter there we go alright so I'm going to uh, type something up there so I'm going to use the alt button to highlight the drop down menu and you, as you can see the letter that corresponds to it is there I could use arrow key and do it that way or I could use the letter itself F and as you see when I do the letters it actually gives me the, the letters too so if I want to save this file uh, I'm going to overwrite that test there we go yes I do boom okay so alright so 
let's say we want to go back to that picture and take a look at the keyboard layout okay I'm going to use alt tab to actually allows me to jump between the different applications bam alright so I'm done with this graphic I'm going to close it um, mm, uh, I'm going to use all that for boom alright so let's make sure notepads active alt F4 boom alright so that's basically how you can use keyboard to navigate and actually use windows without a mouse pen or any other uh, input other than a keyboard so for more geek tips go on over to geeksinphoenix.com alright have a great day